There are a lot of do-it-yourself recipes for energy bars and granola bars, but a do-it-yourself power bar is a little bit more tricky, getting enough power in there to really sustain you through your workout or your day. But I've got a great one for you, and let me show you how simple it is to put together. Over here in my saucepan, I'm gonna place one cup of honey. You could use any kind of syrup here. You could use a mix of molasses, brown rice syrup, maple syrup, whatever you like or have on hand. Now add to that one cup of nut butter. I'm using peanut butter, but you could use um, almond butter, cashew butter, or seed butter like tahini. Well, my mixture is bubbly and gorgeous. So I'm gonna turn off my heat and I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of vanilla, just for some great flavor. And I've also got an eighth of a teaspoon of salt and half of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Oh, this is so good. I could just spoon this over ice cream, but we are talking about power bars, so <laughs> I'll control myself. Well, moving on with the rest of the power bar, over in my big bowl, I've got two and a half cups of old-fashioned style oats, and I'm adding to that a third of a cup of ground flaxseed. That actually has a pretty high protein content, so that'll really give some more power to these bars. In here, I've got half of a cup of non-fat dry milk powder, and you can also use a soy powder or just um, like any kind of protein powder that you like. I'm also adding half of a cup of nuts and seeds, any combination that you like. I'm doing sunflower seeds and almonds, and I've just used the ones that are pre-roasted. Finally, I'm adding half a cup of dried fruit. Today, raisins, but you could do craisins, you could do apricots, again, whatever you like. And go ahead and stir those up, just until they're blended. Now I'm gonna take all of this peanut butter yumminess and pour it all over my oat mixture. Oh, I love that I can eat these for health because <laughs> they are so delicious. Okay, I think I've got it all in there. I'm just gonna stir, stir, stir so that everything is coated. The only thing I have left to do now is press this into my pan. And I've already lined my pan with a little bit of foil and I'm just gonna give it a little spritz with nonstick cooking spray just to make sure these get out of the pan. So let me put the whole batch right into the pan. Couldn't be easier. And then to get this to every corner without getting my hands covered in power bar mix, I have a piece of wax paper. I'm gonna set that on top and just start pressing down and nudging this into every corner of the pan. That just smooths out the top as well. And look at that. Perfect. Now it's into the refrigerator to chill for about three to four hours, and then we'll cut these beauties into bars. Well, here are my chilled bars, so let me show you how easy it is to cut these up. I'm actually gonna take my cutting board and place it on top of the pan, and just do a quick flip. Then I can lift that right off. Ta-da! Take off my foil. And I'm ready to cut. Uh, I could eat this whole thing. This is my serving right here. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a sharp knife and begin to cut this into either squares or bars, whatever you prefer. So these are packed with power because of the non-fat milk powder, the peanut butter, the nuts and seeds, the flax. It's just energy on the go in delicious form. I'm going to cut off one to give a taste. Look at that. Mm. So yummy. Now, let me chew. <laughs> now, if you don't want to put these in bars, you can also take that same batter 
and mix it into little balls, wrap it up. Kids really love it, but so do adults too. Try it, you'll love it, and I'll see you next time.